Hello everyone, welcome to Codeboard. In this video, we are going to see how to find the frequency of elements in the array using Java program. So this is a very simple code if you understand the logic behind it. So let's get started and create our program. First, we have a project called frequency of element inside which we'll be creating a class. Let's call this class as frequency because we are going to find the frequency of elements within the array. And we are going to enable this add main method for this class. So let's click on finish and here we have our class. So first let me explain what do we mean by finding the frequency of elements in an array. For that we are going to take one int array. Let's call this arr equal to new int. And we are going to directly put the values into the array. So let's take an array with some duplicate elements. So let's say we have 2, 4, 5, again 2, then 6, 6, 3, 3 and 7. So here we have our array. Now finding the frequency means finding the number of times the elements occur in the array. For example, 2 here is occurring 2 times. 6 is also occurring 2 times. So the frequency of 6 is 2, the frequency of 2 is 2, the frequency of 4 is 1 because there is only one 4 in the array. So now let's see how we can find the frequency of the elements in the array. So we have our first array. What we are going to do is take one more array which will check whether the elements of the array are visited or not. Let me take that array and while we code we will understand the purpose of it. So int. Let's call this visited array equal to new in and this will be of same length as array. So here we have our two arrays. The first has elements, the second does not have an, any elements but we are going to fill in values into it. And we'll take one visited variable equal to minus one. So suppose this two is new first time so it's not visited. But this 2 is already visited because it appears. So in this place of 2, we are going to put minus 1 in the new array to signify that this element has already occurred in the array. Now let's iterate this array. We have to iterate the array two times. So for int i equal to 0, i less than array dot length i plus plus. And Second iteration is going to be with j, for example, j equal to now each element in the array we are going to compare with the next element. So j will start from i plus 1. So 2 we are going to compare with 4, 5, 2, 6, 6, 3, 7. Similarly, next up 4 we are going to co compare with the next element because we don't want to check the previous element. So j goes from i plus 1 to j less than again array dot length and j plus plus right so these are our two loops now initially count of each element is going to be one so i'm initializing count with one and if so we have our if condition if any element matches that is arr of i equal to equal to arr of j so if any element in this particular array matches with any other element count is going to increment and if we found the match okay if we found the match here we have to make this place as minus one in the visited array because this element is already visited so in visited array of j that is this index this particular index we are going to we are going to mark it as visited that is its value is going to be minus one all right and once we iterate the complete j, j loop and once we treat the complete j loop that is this element is compared with every other element here in that case what we are going to do is come out of this loop because this loop will be over and if this element is not visited that is the visited array of i is not equal to visited so it's not already visited that is its first time that is it's a new element in that case in visited array of i we are going to place the count this way 
all right so this way we are going to place the count so basically first time the visited array will have count at the index and if it is visited again if we find that element again it will be is going to be minus 1 now we can simply print the visited array if it is it does not have the index minus 1 so int i equal to 0 i less than visited array dot length because we are going to iterate visited array and if visited array of i which is i index does not have not equal to visited in that case we are going to print the frequency so we are going to say system dot we are going to print the frequency so we are going to sys out and let's say frequency of now which element array of i element so ar of i and we'll say is visited because visited array has count so i so this is how our program for finding the frequency of element works now let's run this once and check our output so if I run this, we have frequency of 2, 4, 5, 6, 3 and 7. 2 and 6 have frequencies 2, rest all have 1. Let's increase 6 in this. I'll put 6 here and let's also put 6 here and we'll check our output. So 2 is 2, 6 is 4, 3 is 1 and 4 is 1. So in this way, we have found the frequency of elements in the array. Alright, so this program was pretty easy. If you understand the Core logic behind it. We can also, what you can do is also debug this particular program and check how it works. The steps are pretty simple. We are going to take one array which has the elements. Then we are going to take one visited array which will have either the visited flag value that is minus one or the count of the element if the element is not already visited. Then we are going to iterate the for loop or iterate the array in such a way that each element we are going to compare with the next elements. So 2 we are going to compare with the rest of the elements, then 4 will compare with 6, 2, 6, 6, 3, 6, then 6 we are going to compare with the next elements and so on. So we have our two for loops, one starting with i index from 0 to array dot length and second starting from i plus 1 to length. We are initializing count to 1 and if we find any matching element that is we are starting with 2 and if we again find 2 we are going to increase the count and in the place of visited array dot j that is the next element that we find we are going to place it as visited we are going to mark it as visited and after iterating that is after checking each element with every next element if the element is still not marked visited in that case we are going to put count in the visited array in the place of that index in the index of the element that we are comparing and after that we are going to simply print the visited array if the visited flag is not minus one that is the array is not that is the element is not already visited we are going to print the frequency of the element so this was about finding the frequency of the elements guys. In the next video we are going to see how to find the frequency of elements using a hash map which is pretty simple as compared to this but it is also important that you know this method. So if you have any questions please mention them in the comment section below and we will come up with new videos on Java programs very soon. Until then subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video. Thank you.